Good morning, friends. I'm Reverend Carla Leitner, the Senior Associate Minister at Unity San Diego. It's a beautiful Monday, November 22nd, 2021, almost Thanksgiving. Wow, this year is going quickly, and I must say I'm very happy for that. Well, today we release, we let go, we let go and we let God, and we affirm whatever we want or something better. I love that. And I love the way the daily word is expressed today, that letting go is not giving up. It's engaging fully in that dynamic power of the God of our understanding. I used to think letting go and letting God was just giving up. I used to want to manipulate and move and I had like this vested interest in things that I had to control. But I must tell you, friends, that it is so wonderful. It's such a feeling of, oh, just peace to just let go and allow the God of your understanding to take over. I mean, isn't that what we're supposed to do? Really? Jeremiah 42, 3 says, let the Lord your God show us where we should go and what we should do. It's so nice and it's so calming to be able to just release those attachments to outcome, knowing that sometimes there's such a many times there's a much bigger picture than we can see in this moment with our human eyes. And it feels so good to allow that, allow that need to control, that need for perfection, that need to have the last word, to just let it go. It takes a lot of pressure off our shoulders, makes our stomach feel a lot better. Just knowing that there is something so much better, the right and perfect place, the right, right and perfect space. And so I know every day I pray and affirm that God is leading each and every one of us to the right and perfect space, to the right and perfect place, including myself. Especially if I feel like I uh, have an interest in something, like say I want to take a class or I want to you know, buy a property or do something, I have to release, I have to let go. Is this really what's in the highest good for me? And many times I can't tell. I find myself sometimes I'm too close to situations to be able to... Um, think about them in a way that's best. And so what I've learned to do over the years, let go, let God. And it's like falling back into these arms of God, trusting, opening myself up to answers, to those answers that I can get and receive in the times of my silence. Uh, sometimes I hear a song, I see something written, and I realize that Solutions are unfolding for me. That things are unfolding in the way that I need them to unfold. Not always the way I think they should. But it doesn't matter. Because when I let go and I release to the God of my understanding, I'm allowing that love of God to flow through me. And I'm allowing myself to surrender and let go of things that don't serve me. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to say, be careful what you ask for, because you might get it. I never knew what that meant. But sometimes, many times, all the time, <laughs> to go into that silence and to speak and commune with your God, that very special, unique, and personal relationship you have with the God of your understanding, and to bring spirit into every aspect of your life it helps to help us to know how to express because as we know as we follow those ways of Jesus our wonderful way shower we know that allowing spirit to work in as and through us in unique ways means that we need to let go it means we need to take that time in the silence we need to release habits of thinking that allow us to worry. Now, we also have that human side, so it's going to happen. But 
much better it feels to just release, let go. Welcome that loving, guiding spirit of God to wash through us, to guide us. You know, each and every one of us have things that maybe we've done in the past, things that we regret, things that we need to forgive ourselves to, past mistakes. But, you know, we can't change what was done. But we can always move forward living by example, allowing that river of divine peace to flow through us and welcoming the loving guidance spirit of God to lead us and direct us. So let's take a moment, friends, to just kind of wiggle out. And breathe. Just breathe in. Knowing that as I open myself up to this time of meditation, that no matter where I, I am, no matter where we are, we are in a safe and sacred space. And as we open ourselves up to that small voice, to this time of the silence, that we allow ourselves to receive these answers when we relax, feeling confident that perfect solutions are unfolding for each and every one of us. Let's take a moment then to release any thoughts, any worries, any to-do lists, set them aside. Just focus on our breath for a moment, breathing in, letting go. Breathing in, In. Letting go, allowing the love and compassion of God to wash through us, letting go of any fear, letting go of any pre preconceived notions, any outcomes that we feel must be a certain way, letting go and affirming the faith and trust as we allow the God of our understanding to guide us to the right and perfect place, to that right and perfect space. Breathing in, I am love. Breathing out, I am peace. Breathing in the love of God. Breathing out that peace. Breathing in peace. Letting out love, knowing that no one, even myself, even I cannot disturb the peace of my soul when I allow the God of my understanding to work in, as, and through me, knowing that God and I are one as I release and let go and allow the God of my understanding to speak to me in the silence. I am relaxed. I am confident, knowing that perfect solutions are unfolding for me for each and every circumstance in my life. I am open to these answers. I am open and receptive 
knowing that I am filled with hope. I am filled with understanding. I am filled with forgiveness as I am the love and peace of God. And I let go and I let God, knowing that God always holds that divine order, that high watch, the highest good for all of us. And I let go knowing this or something better as God guides and directs me. And I say, thank you. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. I invite you to breathe. Open your eyes as you feel moved to do so. Knowing that at any time we can go into this place of peace and serenity. This place, peace of not giving up. But letting go of these human hands that hold tight and opening up and allowing ourselves to see, to feel with our spiritual eyes, with our spiritual heart, knowing that there is so much more than what we see, that our limited experience, that our limited eyes can see. Such a bigger picture. So much more. If we allow the God of our understanding to work in, as, and through us. It's beautiful. It feels good. And it's a wonderful place to be. So I invite you, friends, to let go and let God. As we move into this week of Thanksgiving, this time of gathering with friends and family, remember that I am peace. I am love. Each and every one of us as we celebrate with gratitude and with love. As we know, without a shadow of a doubt, and with faith, the Lord our God is guiding us to the highest good for everyone. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Thank you, and enjoy your Monday, enjoy your week. Happy Thanksgiving. Namaste. Bye-bye.